my name is Dr. Sabrina Ko. I'm currently the Head of the Program for Nutrition with Wellness at UCSI University. Our population is currently facing the epidemic of obesity. When obesity is a problem in the population, the next health problem that comes in line would be um, an issue of diabetes. So in Malaysia, we are at a high rate of our population being diagnosed with diabetes and the uh, age is getting younger. So it's very important to ensure that we consume our diet. We are very mindful okay, in what sort of food that we incorporate on our plate. So today, we will be learning a little bit on carbohydrates. So as we know, there are two main types of carbohydrate, the complex carbohydrate as well as the simple carbohydrate. Now, complex carbohydrate includes our fruits, vegetables, whole grains, um, anything that is having higher fiber content. Whereas refined carbohydrates make up the simple carbohydrate. So these are foods that has been processed up to its finest for production of food or ingredients. So they, while there are these two different types of uh, carbohydrates that is in one's diet, it is important to ensure that there is balance of consumption of this sort of uh, food in our daily diet. Any imbalances in this will lead to unfavorable health effects later on in life. In terms of carbohydrate intake, a high consumption or overly high consumption of carbohydrate will actually lead to more adverse health effects. For example, one may develop a diabetes in the long run if there is no balance in terms of carbohydrate intake and there is also loaded with too much of sugar in their diet as well as carbs, refined carbohydrates specifically. So in order to ensure that one doesn't develop diseases such as diabetes or conditions such as metabolic syndrome, it is thus important for us to ensure that we have portion control in terms of the food that we consume on a daily basis. So um, let me bring you to some examples of uh, foods that are refined in carbohydrates. For example, a white bread would be an example of food that is what we term as simple carbohydrates. Now, there are various types of breads that are available out there. They are whole grain, they are whole meal. So choosing options that have more grains or whole meal uh, component would be a better option than resorting to a simple uh, white bread, for example. Now, uh, this is an example of a a bread that is of whole meal or whole grain. So you can see the difference in terms of the color. So one is white and one is brown. So in order to give it an easier guide, uh, complex carbohydrates generally um, are not having very whitish in color. They are more brown. They contain more grains, more fiber in its content. So making choices and balance in terms of this sort of um, intakes in daily basis is of importance. Looking at rice. So rice intake is something very common for us Malaysians. So we consume rice on a daily basis. We take rice, um, some of us may even consume rice during um, lunch and dinner and some even at breakfast. So what are the different types of rice that are available in our daily diet? 